bright duty. Every student matters. Let us now discuss the back exercises. The first question says, what is discipline? So, as we have discussed, discipline is when you are given a command or an order to behave in an orderly manner. What is the derivative meaning of the word discipline? So, we've read about it. It is derived from the Latin word disciplina, which, mean, which means getting orders from authority. What do you understand by the term reward? So, reward is a positive recognition which you get from somebody in lieu of something good that you have done. What is the attitude of the modern educators towards punishment? The modern, modern educators believe that punishment is not important for discipline at all. Rather, they believe in the concept of reforming the students rather than punishing them. Explain discipline in a narrow sense as we have discussed. In a narrow sense, discipline meant listening to the commands and following the instructions which were given to you by somebody who was an authority. While in the wider sense, it meant doing what is inside you. Working according to your conscience and doing what you want to do in order to achieve the desired goal. What is positive discipline? Positive discipline means when you are happy to do something for the society. That is positive discipline. And when you have sacrificed your own happiness to give happiness to the society, that is negative discipline. What is internal discipline? Now, internal discipline is again something that is without any compulsion, that comes from within you, that helps you, motivates you, encourage you, encourages you to move ahead in time. And what is external discipline? External discipline refers to the imposition of some external factors, some external you know, commands are given to you in order to extract a disciplined behavior. Discuss the concept of free discipline. Now, free discipline means that you are working in such or, you know, you are exposed to such a phenomenon that you want to be in order, you want to be in discipline because you know that is right. Without any interference, without any intrusion of any authority or any external factor, be it your teacher, your parents or anyone for that matter. What is the concept of freedom? So freedom simply means, as we have read, there are so many things that we have the freedom of, freedom to speak, freedom to write, freedom to political, uh, you know, political freedom, financial freedom. But it also emphasized on the fact that freedom is not always free. Because when you are exercising your freedom, you have to give regard to the society, to the family, to the people you are surrounded by. Explain the role of rewards in the early years of one's education. So reward plays a very important role in the early years of one's education because it is in the early years that the foundation of the student is laid. So if in the early year the child can be encouraged to move ahead, the child can be given reward so that he can learn how to maintain discipline, how to be internally disciplined, then that is going to leave a lot. Define punishment. We've seen so punishment is disregarding somebody for something that they have done. What was punishment according to Raymond? So, there is a definition of punishment that Raymond has given. You will be writing that. Four common forms of punishments in schools. We have corporal. We have, uh, you know, we've seen there was uh, corporal punishment. Then there was reformatory. There was monetary punishment. There was compensatory punishment. So, you have to write four. What do you understand by the term order? Order means giving a command to somebody. At times, discipline and order are misunderstood and people take both these terms to be equal to each other. However, that is not the case. 
order is given so that uh, you know so that discipline can be extracted from the people so with this my dear students we come to the end of this chapter i hope the chapter was clear to you